threat of freezing rain and again that ice here in the picture. Road crews have been preparing for that incoming storm. ODOT spokesperson Don Hamilton joining us live right now to talk about what they're doing. Don, thank you so much for joining us. Good to be with you. Appreciate Good to time. be with you too. So we have some news that you're wanting to talk about closures in the gorge. These are new closures. Well, this is always an issue that we're watching. The gorge is really gives us a little bit of everything all the time. We get all kinds of crazy weather out in the gorge. And that's one of the areas that we're very, very concerned about with the ice coming because that can just get crazy travel out in the gorge, crazy conditions out there. So we're watching this very, very carefully. The question that we're talking about right now isn't if we're gonna close Interstate 84, but it's really when. We're watching conditions very carefully, trying to decide uh, when we're going to close Interstate 84 out there. So keep an eye on that. We may well be closing Interstate 84 in the gorge today. Okay, that's a big update. Generally speaking, is there a, an ETA on when that, that announcement could come down from, from ODOT on closing, closing I-84 in the gorge? Boy, I hate to guess things like that. Sometime maybe this afternoon uh, may be happening. Uh, when we're trying to do this in advance of nasty ice, a half an inch of ice as you've been telling us, is a lot of ice. Mm -hmm. And that can be a very difficult situation. We don't want to wait until it glazes over in the gorge. We don't want people to get in trouble out there. That's one of the things we're going to be watching very carefully. We want to make sure that we get that closed before it gets really dangerous out there, too. So we're watching conditions very carefully right now, watching the forecast, trying to see what's going to happen. So you guys did a pretty good job of keeping the major thoroughfares open and clear, preparing for the snowstorm, pre-treating things. How do you prep for freezing rain and for ice? Run for your lives. Um, I, it, it, ice is really kind of the worst thing that we can get out there. But one of the tools that we have is de-icer, is the magnesium chloride. Now, this inhibits the bond of ice onto the road surface. Now, it's not perfect but it is very effective in many, many areas out there. And in the last day or two, when there's no rain, we can use, uh, treat the roads with this de-icer on the road surfaces. That's gonna help. It's gonna mean a big difference in making the roads better, making the roads uh, better that we can get them cleaned up and, and, and cleaned afterwards too. So it's not perfect, but it's gonna make a big difference, we think, when we try to get the roads cleaned up after this storm. Mm -hmm. Well, and just to reiterate, Don, what, what you've said uh, with, this, with this winter storm, as well as other transportation officials, if you can stay home, do so. Don't get out onto the roads unless you absolutely have to. And if you do have to, maybe consider public transportation as an option. And then, of course, we'll keep you updated on what's happening on I-84 in the gorge later on today. Don, always appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us here on What's a Busy Day. Thank you. Take another snow day today. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, thanks so much, Don. And you can always track the forecast anytime at coin.com. Online, we also have the information you need to stay safe during this Arctic blast, plus to see weather happening in your area. Snap a picture if you can do so safely and share that with our weather team.